summer is here, so I got my air conditioning unit out. Unfortunately, this unit has a bit of a bedwetting problem. Last year, I tried to solve that by putting a plastic bin underneath to collect the water. The only problem was that every time the bin was full, I had to detach the pipe, lift the AC, and dump the water in the garden. So to solve that, I bought a cheap water pump. And this was much better. You just put power and out goes the water into the garden. Awesome. The problem with that now was that sometimes I would forget and the bin would overflow. And by that time, I had begun playing with Arduinos. So I figured automating the pump would be a fun project to apply what I was learning. I ordered a water level sensor, which is basically a bunch of copper strips with power in one end and the higher the water goes up on it, the more electricity passes through it. So all my program did at the time was read the value on the sensor and if it went above a certain level, it would turn the pump on and when it went back down, it would turn the pump back off. Easy peasy. Simple simple. That worked well for several months until the sensor corroded, which I'm not sure if that makes a good water sensor, but anyway. I wish I had taken a picture of what it looked like, but here's my artistic interpretation. And here's the bin, after months of rust floating around. Now that it's hot again, I wanted to come up with a new solution that would last longer and wouldn't put electronics in the water. My idea is to use a magnetic field sensor, like they use in the alarm systems to know if a door is open or closed. I'll attach the sensor outside of the bin, and inside I'll attach a magnet to a float that will move up and down with the water and will trip the sensor when it gets to a certain level. My first plan was to put the magnet on a rail with the float glued around it. For the float, I found this square of foam that I had lying around, but because the float is bigger, it's much easier to just glue the magnet on top of it, and then the glue doesn't really have to bear any load. While that prints, let me show you the electronics. I packed my original project into this box, which has an outlet, which is turned on and off by a relay, which in turn is controlled by an Arduino Nano, which has my program in it. The only change I will do to the hardware is replace the water sensor with the magnetic sensor. Instead of just soldering the wires together, I wanted to put a connector. That way I could easily plug it and unplug it if I need it. But after like 20, 30 minutes, Fighting with the little pins the, of these connectors I got, I just gave up. It was a major pain in the butt. So <laughs> I gave up and spliced them together. And I have an extra cable that the water sensor needed, but the magnetic doesn't. So I'll just you know, cut it off and tape it so it doesn't touch anything. Now, I couldn't find the code for my original project, my Arduino project, but it's so simple. I just wrote a new one and you can download it via the link in the description. All it does is, every second it checks the magnetic sensor, and if it's changed, it just changes the relay. Well, at least that was the original version. Since the magnetic sensor doesn't measure depth or anything, it's just on or off, the pump used to turn off as soon as the water is slow enough that the magnet is out of range. But I want the pump to stay on much longer, so I added a little timer. Now the pump remains on for at least 30 seconds, or until the magnet goes out of range. That way I get much more water out before the pump turns back off. And at any time I can tweak those 30 seconds to whatever I want. I just have to time how long it takes the pump to get all the water out. <laughs> 